So now we exit Transformers Legacy. Now there there is a, you know a leftover siege mold that is going to be part of it too, but we'll get into that in the roundup of everything that we've discussed today. Now Hasbro gave us a little teaser going like, "Hey, well we're not done yet. Like we we showed you some legacy stuff, all of the Wave 2 stuff, but we're also going to give you some shattered glass stuff too." And we're like, oh, "Okay, here we go. We're going to finally see the official images of our uh, Transformers, Shattered Glass, Voyager Class, Shattered Glass, Blaster, right? Right? No, they swerved us. Ooh, they got us good. Instead, we got Transformers, Shattered Glass, Leader Class, Shattered Glass, Ultra Magnus. And this is a really good one because on top of everything else, it's actually three different characters in one when you really think about it. And that's pretty crazy. So let's get into it. So it's a initially it's going to be a uh, Hasbro Pulse exclusive. It's going to come with an exclusive cover, and it's going to be again part of a brand new wave of Shattered Glass product. They show on Hasbro Pulse's website that every single month, starting today, they're going to be revealing a brand new Shattered Glass character. That's probably going to be a precedent considering how we're going to have probably these Fan First Fridays or Transformer Tuesdays or whatever every single month. So they say that there's going to be one in May, one in June, one in July, and one in August. So stay tuned for that. Obviously, one of them is going to be that blaster. Now, this is a essentially a repaint of the Earth, not the Earthrise, the Kingdom Ultra Magnus, but given also a little bit of a brand new head sculpt and then a brand new head sculpt again, which really hasn't been done before in Transformers. And I think that's why it really is a Hasbro Pulse exclusive because of probably the safety reasons of it. But it's it's channeling the original Shattered Glass Ultra Magnus's colors, but also the original Shattered Glass Ultra Magnus colors kind of also leaned on a little bit of the pinkish reddish kind of color scheme that is Delta Magnus, although Delta Magnus, aka the Diaclone Ultra Magnus, aka Powered Convoy, was a, a lot more red, but it's kind of like leaning on on the the border of the between of those. So you have a Shattered Glass Ultra Magnus with that one head sculpt, then they give you a second head sculpt that gives you an Ultra Magnus kind of flavored head. So you got the Delta Magnus kind of Diaclone thing, more Diaclone characters being used here in Transformers, which is fantastic. And then the inner robot is Magna Convoy. And Magna Convoy is neither a Shattered Glass character nor a Delta Magnus connection. It actually is really his own thing. Magna Convoy was the leader of the Blue Order of the Primus Vanguard, which was of the Sakamoto mangas and was an old e-hobby exclusive from 2017 that was just trot e-hobby going, hey, can we get one more repaint out of that Classics 2006 Prime mold? Can we just get one more out of it 11 years after that mold came out? So it's like three characters in one, depending how you want to spin it. I know, like, it's it's crazy when you think about it. And also, the funny thing is, is that all of this comes with the sword from our Laser Optimus Prime, our Leader Optimus Prime, from all, pretty much all the Energon accessories that come with that Legacy Wave 1 Leader Optimus Prime, the Laser Rod. And it's funny because the Laser Optimus Prime, that mold is actually the basis of what would be Shattered Glass Ultra Magnus when it was a Bacon exclusive with that skull face, but they didn't go with that because it'd be too much an obvious route, and they got to do something with that Ultra Magnus mold. There is so much going on here that it boggles my mind, <laughs> and it's probably hard to keep up. I apologize for that. But essentially what, what we're looking at is we're getting a Shattered Glass Ultra Magnus. It's going to have the Shattered Glass emblem on his shoulder. Uh, it's going to have an interchangeable head that you have to just use a Phillips screwdriver to change. But otherwise, it's a Shattered Glass Ultra Magnus. Anything else that comes afterwards is using your imagination and probably some repro label stickers to get the proper Autobot logo on the uh, the shoulder. It's not the first Delta Magnus that started with... Uh, with first a, a reissue, which was called Movie Edition Ultra Magnus in Japan. And then we got, of course, the Masterpiece one afterwards, which gave the the true official designation of Delta Magnus for the Diaclone Powered Convoy colors. And the rest is history. I like this. It's going to be expensive <laughs> because it's a Hasbro Pulse exclusive plus shipping and everything, which is always a bore for me. But, you know, my buddy Jason will probably take care of that for me and hook up a brother. But... 
it is what it is. Uh, the price is going to be $62.99. That's the new MSRP for leader classes too. The plan is for it to ship out before the end of the year around uh, October 1st of 2022. And there's going to be more reveals of the Shattered Glass stuff moving forward. There is going to be a retail release, just not with the exclusive comic book cover that will be done by Casey Collar, which I'm very curious how that cover is going to look because Casey is a really talented artist and he does some really good homages with those covers. So with this one here, hmm, I'm really curious what he's going to do. But I just like that uh, it gives you options. And if anything, if you're one of those people that has to buy multiple versions to have all those options, I feel sorry for you because you have to buy one copy to have the G2 Magnus. Excuse me, the G2, the Shattered Glass Magnus. Then you're going to buy another copy to have the Diaclone Powered Convoy and then put the Repro Label sticker on it. And then you're going to buy another one just to have the Primus Vanguard member himself of Magna Convoy just standing on his own and you have to give him the sword now because the sword with the matrix in it because anyone who knows how the Primus Vanguard works and with Sakamoto's manga with all the different colored convoys throughout the years uh, crazy stuff crazy deep dive stuff in Transformers lore to take apart here but I dig it otherwise I think it looks great it's going to be a little pricey but uh, I still appreciate that they found a way to somehow put out in some shape or form that iteration of the character, even if the colors won't be 100% exact and you might need some repo labels for some emblems. But at the end of the day, it's still pretty cool. I appreciate the effort and I appreciate the fact that we're having a new head sculpt that could just be screwed on. I kind of hope that'll be the continuation of a, of a continuing idea where we could have multiple head sculpts and they could be included and they could just kind of, oh, hey, we could do this, we could do that. Even Mark said that when this toy was designed, that head sculpt was already on the sprue. So imagine that far back they were planning this. So pretty awesome stuff. And again, that that skull head sculpt is an homage again to that old Bakon head sculpt. Go check that out. Go check out the lore that is Transformers. You could check it out on our Discord too. We'll, we could post it. But awesome stuff otherwise. Check it out, guys. Again, pre-orders are up right now. This one isn't sold out yet. Maybe for the reasons that I say. A little pricey, but... Uh, still pretty cool. A lot of cool stuff going on. We still have more to talk about. Imagine. Still got more. What a day. What a day. What a day. I'll talk to you again real soon.